In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify algebra. So firstly here, we've got a times a times a times a. Whenever we've got the same thing times together, we can write that as a power. So here I've got four a's times together. So I can write that as a to the power of four. If I had three b's times together, I could write it as b to the power of three. A times B. We don't write the time sign in algebra. What we actually do is just write A, B. And A, B means A times B. In the same way, 5B, we don't write 5 times B. We just write 5B. And that means 5 times B. So here I've got 5A times 4B. 5 times 4 the two numbers we can multiply together. So 5 times 4 is 20. And we've also got an A and a B. So it's 20 times A times B. We write that as 20AB. So here we've got a lot more terms, a lot more parts to it, but it's the same thing. So the two numbers we can times together, 7 times 10 is 70. A squared times A to the power of 3. When we multiply A squared and A cubed, what we do is we add the powers because we've got two A's times together and another three A's times together. So all in all, we've got five A's times together. And we've got one B here and times by another two B's. So that means we've got three B's times together here. The next one down here is the same, but it's division. So this is 9 divided by 3, which makes 3. a to the power of 5 divided by a cubed. When we divide, we take away the powers. 5 take away 3 is 2. And we've got b, well, p, b to the power of 1. Or If we take away the powers, we've just got b to the power of minus 1. Okay, pause the video and try and have a go at these ones. 5a times a, 5a squared. 4 times 2 is 8, b times b is b squared. 2, 3 to 6, and then we've got a, b. Here we've got 6, a cubed, b. Here we've got 24, a squared, b cubed, and down here we've got 2, a squared, and b squared divided by b squared is, well, it's 1, they cancel out. b squared cancels out with b squared. Okay, so this is addition. We've got 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Now, the answer is 12, but... What I've put this on there to show you is this is 4 times 3. We've got 4 lots of 3. So I'm going to write it as 4 bracket 3. That means 4 times 3. The reason I've done that is because just below I've got a plus a plus a plus a, which is 4 a's. So that's 4 times a. Okay, do not get this confused with a times a times a times a, which makes a to the power of 4. This is plus, so I've got 4 lots of a. a plus a plus a plus a is 4 lots of a. We just write that as 4a. If I've got 8 a's plus 3 a's, I can add them up, and that's 11 a's. In the same way, I can take them away. 9a's take away 2a's is 7a's. And 5a plus 3b, we can't do. We can only add things if they're the same. So we can add a's to a's and b's to b's or 3's to 3's, but we can't add a's and b's together. So this is actually already in its simplest form. Okay, pause the video and try these ones. 
add the A's to the A's, and we're going to add the B's to the B's. So, if I add the A's to the A's, I've got 5 A's plus 7 A's, that's 12 A. And I've got 2 B plus 9 B, which makes 11 B. So that is its simplest form. I can't add the A's to the B's. Same thing here. I've got 4A. I've got minus 2A. I've got 6B plus another B. So 4A take away 2A, because this is negative, negative 2A. 4A take away 2A is 2A. And 6B plus another B makes 7B. B's and the A's. So I've got 7B and plus 3B, which makes 10B. And I've got minus 2A plus 5A. Minus 2 plus 5 is 3. 9A plus another A. And I've got minus 2B minus 5B. So 9A plus another A, that's 10A. And I've got minus 2B minus 5B. So minus 2 down 5 goes to minus 7B. 5A minus an A. And minus B minus 7B. So 5A take away 1A is 4A. And minus 1B take away another 7B is minus 